a welcome to Curie Electronics. So in this video we are going to learn about the data types, data types for microcontroller programming. So before going that, uh, let's see the general structure of C program that we are learned in the first video. So what is there? So we first we will mention the preprocessor directives then uh, preprocessor directives means what uh, that is like a hash include hash include for this learning embedded embedded C we will we will follow 8051 microcontroller so preprocessor directive means we will write a sentence hash include this hash is the preprocessor directive symbol hash include we write register 51.h and th that is the header file so these are the these kind of uh, sentences that is hash include are the preprocessor directives and constant definitions constant definitions means uh, we can write it as hash define hash define on equal to 1 that means to turn on a LED instead of writing 1 we will write on the 1 will be the on will be replaced by 1 by the compiler or uh, we can write it as hash define uh, what is there pi equal to hash define pi uh, that is equal to 3.142 uh, these are the constant definitions then what else is there then global variables so this is the global variables global variables means what throughout the program we can access this global variables even inside any block of the code we can access this global variables then as usual what is there there is a, a main function that is void main void void main means uh, it returns this main function returns nothing also it doesn't take any parameter that is the main void then what is there inside the main function we have a variable declaration then some execution statements then finally all embedded should systems should have a while loop we have the while loop so this is the basic structure of the C program we need not to spend much time here by doing we will try to learn it so data types in 8051 so before concentrating completely into the microcontroller we should have a general idea about the C data types see data type is the declaration of variable or identifier this variable is also known as identifier okay and then this data types can be classify classification of data types how can we classify that is primitive type a derived type and user defined user defined this also we are not going in detail but let us have a idea that these are the data types we are going to face that is int in primitive data type int char float void double long int short int many are the short int also there but we need not to go in depth so what is here when we write code for 8051 or a microcontroller what is we generally going to use int char a long int double float and all we will use in the higher levels but basically what we need we need int and char then derived data types array string pointer user defined structure union type def uni uh, enum okay uh, not union again it's enum that is enum enumerated data type so these are all we will come we will learn later we will write the real application to microcontroller and study all this next see now 
our focus is on learning the embedded C. So it is it is better to learn with a simple microcontroller. Simple microcontroller architecture is the popular 8051 microcontroller. Okay. Now here we have the data types. What are the uh, data types? Unsigned care. Unsigned care means it can it is a one byte it required the data types gives the oh, how much how much memory has to be allocated when you declare when you declare data type data type the compiler knows how much memory how much memory to be allocated how not how memory how much okay how much memory to be allocated so when you declare a data type you are telling the compiler what is the memory requirement so if you if you in in case of 8051 if you define car 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 c that means it is a one byte this this the car can store the C the variable C can store one byte data and it is it is mentioned as car so if you are storing a number it is it is going to be from minus 128 to plus 127 if you are storing a number this 8 8 bit date 8 bit variable or 1 byte variable car can store car can store minus 128 to plus 127 or else what it can store all a b c d all letters in single one one letter it can store ascii characters or we can simply say ascii ascii characters it can store this car variable here See, we have signed and unsigned, unsigned, signed, signed, unsigned care means it is, it is the storage memory is one byte. It can store, if we are storing a number, it can store from 0 to 255. But if it is signed care, it is going, that is also 8, 8 bit, that means one byte. It can store from one, minus 128 to plus 127 number so if you want to store a negative number what you have to use signed or unsigned you have to use signed if you simply write signed if you simply write signed without a signed or unsigned if you simply write signed simply write char or int then it is going to be signed int and signed char the compiler will take it as signed char or signed int signed int that is how the compiler will take it doesn't take it as unsigned okay then uh, we have unsigned int int is a two byte when you declare a variable as int unsigned int that is that is let if you declare a variable like this unsigned 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 int count that means this count variable is a two byte it can store two byte two byte so if you use as a counter it can count from 0 to 65535 okay so similarly the, uh, there's a signed int also Similarly, if you declare a variable simply int or signed int, it can store a negative value also. That is, this 2 byte data can store from minus 32,768 to 32,767. Okay, uh, these are uh, in general C also is there. But this S bit, S bit, we use uh, we use in 8051 or in the microcontroller programming how do we write I'll show you S bit 
एल ई डी इक्वल्स पॉट टू इफ यू राइट लाइक दिस वॉट डज इट मीन्स यूजिंग दिस एस बीट वी कैन एक्सेस सिंगल बिट ऑफ द पॉट पिंस यूजिंग द दिस पॉट पिंस ऑल्सो ईच पॉट ऑफ द एट जीरो फाइव वन ऑल्सो वी कैन इट हैज गॉट अड्रेस सो दैट इज दैट कम्स अंडर द एस एफ आर रजिस्टर्स दिस पॉट रजिस्टर्स ऑल्सो नोन एज द स्पेशल फंक्शन रजिस्टर्स इट हैज गॉट अड्रेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई थिंक फॉर पॉट वन इट इज जीरो एक्स नाइन जीरो सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस ए सिंगल वन बिट ऑफ द पॉट देन वी राइट एस बिट एल ई डी इक्वल टू पॉट टू वन विद दिस कैप सिंपल from compiler to compiler it may vary or it can be written similar way uh, in stcc compiler you may write it led uh, sorry led led equals p2 underscore 1 that means port to first pin zero to pin port zero it start from zero to seven eight eight bits so this is how we use the s bit or as another if i say s bit we want to connect a, a buzzer to a particular microcontroller pin then we will write buzzer equal to port 10 so the compiler which depending on the compiler you use it uh, it varies how you mention it so i hope uh, you got a basic idea of the uh, bit variable yes bit variable bit see Uh, this is a, a ram uh, see 8051 we know there are some partic- some memory area it is ram addressable it's a bit addressable right it's a part of ram but it is bit addressable so this bit variable we use how how let me uh, let me write it here uh, bit see bit now a bit usually we use to define some uh, flags a bit uh, let me see switch underscore underscore flag equal to zero so what i have done initially i have made the switch uh, the bit variable is a single bit so this switch switch flag is a, a bit type variable and it can hold either zero or one so i am using it as a flag if somebody switches somebody press the switch and this uh, what happens i will make this switch flag equal to 1 it is not the programmer is making when somebody switches the press if somebody presses the switch this programmer will make the flag equal to 1 then we can do some processing so that is how how we use the flag this and all we will learn more when you use the when you use the uh, when you write code for the microcontroller next is sfr see this sfr is a one byte one byte uh, instruction sfr see what is there sfr uh, we can see port port 1 i think it is 0x90 this sfr registers are byte addressable only byte addressable okay these are the byte addressable not bit addressable byte uh, this uh, the port registers uh, 8 bit port registers port 0 port 1 port 2 port 3 all this can be addressed with all this can be accessed using the sfr bit sfr bit so uh, these are the 8051 microcontroller programming if you know these variables it will be easy for us to develop the code now uh, no need to worry now what is there next vi- next uh, video we will try to uh, put this bit i will try to implement a program uh, for some uh, application then you will be coming uh, coming across this data types and also see eight, uh, 8051 is a 8 bit microcontroller so obviously we are our favorite what we are going to use more is the char variable so unless 
we should use the see by depending on the data you have to choose the data type if I, if you want to use a counter it is going to count up to 250 only or 250 only then what you have to use you have to use the care current care only because it will take only one byte of uh, ram memory uh, if you really need then only you will go for the int or long int like that uh, otherwise what is happened there will be a if you are simply without carelessness if you keep on using instead of uh, care if you use int and uh, put a uh, number 10 you store it there then what happens the memory overflow and all will happen so we will i'll stop the video here if you feel these are uh, interesting or useful to you please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button thanks for watching